a freaking Ikea chair. Hot phobia is real. There are women being discriminated in the workplace. There are women being discriminated against on social media. And those women are hot. And I am tired of these hot phobes. I'm talking to the women who work in marketing departments at beer companies, the women who are very active on social media, shaming other women for their attractiveness and good looks. In my world, there are no ugly women. There are only lazy women. Any woman who puts in the time, the effort at the gym, in 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 in, in clothing, get you get clothing that is that is complementary to your body type. Any woman can be a ten, can be attractive if she puts in the work. And these hot phobes, uh, uh, you know, I miss the the old beer ads where you would have girls in bikinis fighting each other in and or mud wrestling. Bring back sexy, hot, attractive women and call out the hot phobes. Hot phobia is rampant in this country. We need to stamp out hot phobia. If you see someone acting hot phobic, call them out. Call out the hot phobes. Hashtag hot phobe. Shame them. Shame those people. How dare they discriminate against attractive women all right we're, we're gonna get into spoilers for fast x what did you you I'm, it's, so, I, it's so shameful yes i look i i say that with a grin i say it with a grin but um i'm just gonna use stupid tactics we need to come up with like istin phobe names for other people because if if certain types of language and name calling is going to be used I will push back with my own name calling. Megan, I do like I do like seeing attractive women in in ads and things like that. But but truly, there's only one Lizzo, and um, you know it's like what what can you do? Where where are you going to find these hot women? Well, what bothers me truthfully is that Miller Lite ad campaign they blurred out the images the faces of the women in bikinis that were in the posters and ads so they didn't have to pay them yeah. do you realize how hypocritical and disgusting that is i'm just tired of these hypocrites so if we have to come up with we have to make up a word to shame them we will make up a word and we will call them out it is literally jealousy uh, someone being jealous of another woman who happens to be more attractive. That's all that is. I cannot believe that that campaign went unnoticed and people didn't <laughs> didn't see the stupidity. Stop hire. You know what? Hire people who actually use the product. How about that? Yeah. Well, it, 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 it's someone that is the biggest Miller Lite fan that they've got a Miller Lite neon sign in their man cave. Hire that dude and let him decide. You think those jobs are hard? They're not that hard. You're coming up with dumb ideas for advertising that should be funny and entertaining. And oh, by the way, get our beer. Sorry, Alan, I cut you off. Yeah, I mean that 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 Bud Light executive who who basically said that 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 Bud Light couldn't sustain itself on the frat boy image. Uh, you know, again, what are we what are we teaching in universities uh, in business school? You know, why why are you know? It's like. It's almost as if they're saying, we don't want your business anymore. And clearly, we're not giving Bud Light our business anymore. Well, it's just amazing to me that this is the mentality of what is coming out of business school.